Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Farming Pastor's Wife, where normally I'm doing cooking videos or farming videos or ministry videos. But here recently, we've been in a remodel. So I'm just giving a lot of remodel updates. So I would love for you, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, hit the bell notification, and give me a thumbs up. And I appreciate you guys so much and I would love to welcome you into the Farman Pastor's Wife YouTube family. Those of you who are loyal with me, I thank you and say welcome back. Today is Sunday and we are headed to church, but before we left the house, I gave you a brief tour of the things I put up in my cabinets. I'm having to move things a little bit, so um, I know no nothing will stay the same in fact i've already saw something after i gave you the tour that i'm going to switch around a little bit so anyway stay tuned i'm giving you just a brief no, food hasn't been moved in yet or anything so um it's going to be a brief quick um tour of my kitchen <laughs> Good morning, y'all. So forgive my mess. Um, we are still in the construction business. <laughs> um, so, and everything's just kind of really dusty and torn up. And so um, things aren't quite finished. But I did go ahead because I'm going to have to clean off things in the dining room to move so we can put the floor down. I wanted to go ahead and get stuff off the guest bed and put away in the kitchen so I have a place to move all the stuff in the dining room to. So I thought I'd take you around and show you what I've placed where. Now let me go ahead and tell you, I didn't put everything where you want me to put it. <laughs> um, and I will probably move things a hundred times before I find what works best because I really haven't used the kitchen yet. So, I don't know what things are going to work best. So I'm just going to take you and give you a quick tour of my cabinets. Okay, so we'll start here. I had cleaned off my stove so beautifully yesterday and Bryant did a little more sanding. And um, <laughs> there's dust again. And here's going to be my pattern for the backsplash. I've just got it laid out. But anyway, so directly beside my stove, let me start over here on this side. I have... My, well, I don't have them all in there, but my cookie sheets and, and pans and muffin pans and so forth. I haven't moved them all in here yet. Now, some of the cabinets have not been cleaned out yet. So, and over here, I've got my cutting boards and so forth. Okay, in this drawer, this is going to be pot holders. I thought I needed something close by that I can just grab and get something out. This is one of those, I don't know what's going in there. I've got a tea pitcher or my lemonade pitcher in there right now, but who knows? Okay, in my Lazy Susan cabinet, I've got big bowls, strainers, salad master, more bowls, and things like that. And same on the bottom, more bowls, and so forth. All right, so let's move upward. In this outside, let me give you a pan of what this is. This is, oh, I'm tripping. Okay, this is the cabinet before my window. So there's three of them. So in this first one right here at the breakfast bar, um, I've got serving bowls, some mixing bowls, mostly serving bowls and some pretty Pyrex stuff. In this cabinet, I have my glasses and my cups. Glasses and cups. And the reason I did that is because I'm right here at the dishwasher. And in this one, we have plates. Any food in there? No food. I haven't moved the food in yet. Oh my goodness. No food yet. Good morning, everybody. They're not used to seeing me this way. I know. Look at how sharp you look. Sharp and you're me. usually dirty and, dirty and <laughs> overalls and stinky like chickens. Okay. So 
This is going to be my measuring spoons. Um, my those things. So that's where we're going with those. So that she can be organized and ready for recipes. That's right. Okay, I love this cabinet. <laughs> love this cabinet. This is my Pyrex, my cake pans, my meatloaf pans, and so forth. My cookie racks and my pie plates that need washing out. <laughs> Tell them you realize you had too much stuff. Yes, I do have way too much stuff. Okay, and this is my silverware drawer, but it's not organized yet. So we're still working on getting that organized. Oh, and it needs to be wiped out or vacuumed out. Just saw that. Okay, here's my dishwasher. And then of course, under the sink, it's gonna be clean and stuff. Um, this is gonna be my towels and dish rags, dishcloths. Um, not sure yet. I stuck Judah's gummies down there, but I'm not sure what that cabinet will hold yet. This cabinet has not been cleaned out yet and it is not in use yet. So I have a bunch of cabinets I don't have anything in yet. Okay, so this little one right here, this is a small cabinet. Got some, I'm not sure why they're at the top. Anyway, we want medicine on the bottom shelf and I need to move these cups back down. But medicine on the bottom shelves and then I wanted cups right here I'll move them back down later and then just odd and end things. This one I'm really excited about. Um, this is my sauces, my vinegars, and my oils right here. That we could never find before. Yeah, so that's that. And then the next is my coffee and beverage. Like here's our coffee, our Splenda. Our creamer needs to go back up there. There's the Russian tea. And um, once I get tea bags, they'll need to go back up there. So, and I probably won't put anything on the top because I can't reach stuff. And hang on, oh, they're adjustable. Yes, they are adjustable, so, so I can move them. Now, yeah. um, I'm contemplating on switching this one with the coffee and the beverage, but this is heavy, so I kind of want to do it on the bottom. So I don't know. We'll see. Okay, over here. We're on this side of the kitchen. There's a refrigerator. Did you show them your potential backsplash layout? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, this is going to be my baking supplies. Um, as far and well, those are just stuck in there. But like my cocoa, my baking powder, my extracts, my any cake mixes I may have will go in this cabinet. It's not, and nothing is fully stocked yet. Um, I don't have a rack for my K cups yet, so I've just stuck them in there. Everything is kind of. This is going to be a trinket drawer, like my bag clips. This is my cake test. I need to move my cake texture tester somewhere else, but I don't know what's going to go in there yet. So as you can see, I'm not really now these are some big bowls that won't fit over there in the other one so um and then of course my pantry nothing really up here yet i haven't i haven't brought the food in but you know i have the several drawers to pull out I don't want to have anything on the cabinets much. I know I'll have to leave my coffee pot out, but that's about it. Um, this is the, Bryant has claimed this drawer as his junk drawer and he's got a good start on it. This is gonna be my cookbooks and cook recipes, so forth. Is that where the ones going, the farming pastor's wife cookbook? Uh, if I ever get it done. Yeah. And um, nothing in the bottom yet. So, oops, I didn't show you the bottom. Nothing in the bottom yet. We're still working and see the dust I got to get off. Um, up here will be cereal and juices and big things that won't fit in the. And 
other other items up there. Okay, now here's the one that has caused the most controversy. The spice cabinet. And I know many of you thought said I needed it close to my stove, but there are other things I would prefer having close to my stove. And I don't mind walking over here and getting what I need. So uh, I wanna fix it where I can see better what's in the back. And I don't wanna go much higher than this with my spices. So I still have two more shelves for things I don't use often. So there's the spice cabinet. I don't think I have, oh, yes I do. This is gonna be my tin foil um, storage bags, that kind of thing in here, wax paper, parchment paper. I still can't find my parchment paper. This is gonna be the cabinet for my electrical gadgets that I don't use all the time and I'll just put them away. And we're back around here. These I don't think have been cleaned out yet, but my mixer will go in here. Um, my crock pots will go in these two cabinets. So, um, I don't, this is my island. So this is where my crock pots will go and my mixer and any other fancy gadget I have. And then on this side, this is what I'm so excited about, this side. Um, this is my big utensils. Um, some storage containers and my chopper. Two of my nonstick frying pans, one of which I see has gotten scratched really bad, so I'm gonna have to replace it. Now look here my stainless steel. Now y'all, I'm so excited, look at this. I have never been able to get pots and pans easily. But look at that. They're all right here with their lids. I mean, how wonderful is that? And same with the bottom. So, like I said, We'll have to move things around a hundred times before we have it where we want it. And if you remember where they're at. Yes, like he's already moved them cups up there where I can't reach them and they need to come back down to the second shelf. <laughs> he forgets I'm short. So, um, but yeah, we, um, I actually put my coffee pot in here and used it this morning in here on my kitchen, y'all. I don't think everything's going to be completed until right before we go on vacation, which means I won't mind. Usually when it's time to come home from vacation, I'm whining and crying because I don't want to come home. To a mess. To a well, not to a mess. I just don't want to come home. I don't want to leave the beach. But this time, I want to come home because let's, I'm let's going to have... Going, let's not go on vacation. Yeah, we got to go on vacation. I need a vacation. <laughs> After this remodel, I need a vacation. So... I'll be ready to come home because I will have a new playhouse in my kitchen, my living room, everything. Hopefully, it'll be completed before we leave. But, um, about a week, maybe a week and a half. A week, a week and a half, it should be completed. So, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this quick little video and tour of the kitchen that probably won't look the same when you come back because I'll have moved everything again. So, all right, I hope you guys have a great day. Today's Sunday, we're headed to church. Um, and then we may have a little family time this afternoon because a remodel is not for the faint of heart. It's not. And so we needed a little getaway time. So Isaac's not here, but he may join us. Um, but Brian, me, and Caroline, and Jamie, and the boys... We may head to the lake this afternoon. So, y'all have a great day. Thank you for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.